Hello and welcome to Top Plays. I am Blue from CantoCast, and this is the series where we take a look at some of the best plays from the weekly matches during Season 5 of the GBA. Before we get into this week's Top 5, let's cover a couple formalities. First, the Giantes Loudrids match encountered a few hiccups and complications. So, while the Giantes side of the match is live now, it didn't quite meet the recording deadline that I had for this video, so unfortunately no plays from that match will be in this week's top plays. But if you want to see that match and you haven't yet, I do know the Giantes side is live as of this recording, so definitely go check that out. Second. In what can only be considered an upset from the Mankey's Morrill match, it was filled with too much hacks to really get a clear picture of the top plays that could have been. So we'll be excluding that match as well this week, and it's not any player's particular fault. In fact, I was at a premiere challenge once, and let me tell you, Eight times, eight times in a row, I got flinched by a Togekiss. Eight consecutive times. But, moral of this story, that's why you run Pokemon that have Serene Grace to get the hacks. So, no matter how the win occurred, congratulations to the Mankeys for breaking that losing streak. Finally. And now that all the disclaimers are done, let's get to the plays. First up, at number five, we have a ballsy play indeed. Normally, you wouldn't send in a Dragon type against another Dragon type, but the Rampardos do just that in their match against the Sawsbucks. Staring down a Haxorus, the Rampardos send in Salamence to take whatever it wants to dish out. As fate would have it, Haxorus goes for an Earthquake, which doesn't affect Salamence. Salamence then stays in and fires off a Dragon Claw, which Oko's Haxorus. A risky play that paid off while helping the Rampardos take home an eventual 4-0 win. At the number 4 spot this week, we have the showdown that involved the blue one. And no, I'm not talking about me. I'm speaking of Latios and its epic battle against Mega Slowbro during the Steel Wings Regirockies match. Mega Slowbro was an absolute monster. In fact, at one point it had set up three Calm Minds. But with steady nerves and the help of Leech Seed, Residual, and Burn Damage, Latios was able to come in, fire off a few Energy Balls, drop a couple Dracos, and eventually take the Behemoth down. The Steel Wings would go on to win this match in a tight 1-0, but it taught us all a very valuable lesson. Mega Slowbro is kind of terrifying when it sets up. If you saw last week's top plays, then you know how special Tyranitar is. Coming in at number 3, Tyranitar proves it's special again, but this time, it's in more ways than one. During the Halucha's Deoxys match, Special T-Tar put in some serious work. First, it picked up a turn 1 Oko onto the opposing Gliscor, it took Kofagrigus down to half HP, thanks to its berry, which would have otherwise Oko'd, then it takes a Scald and KO's Tentacruel. And finally, it sets up Sand one last time, so that Stoutland could come in and clean up. All in all, the Haluchas take home a 2-0 win this week over the Deoxys. The number 2 top play this week is actually a series of KOs carefully calculated and executed by Mega Absol and the Don Fan in their match against the Sea Kings. Early in the match, Mega Absol picks up a KO onto Mega Sableye, then, a little later on, with most of the Sea King's team worn down just enough, the Don fan knew it was time to bring Mega Absol back in. First, a KO onto Clefable with an Iron Tail, then a Sucker Punch KO onto Darmanitan. Next, a third KO against Tornadus with another Sucker Punch. And finally, a fourth KO against Slowbro with Knockoff. In total, Mega Absol brought home 5 KOs for the Don Fan and helped them take home a 4-0 win for the week. And finally, the play you've all been waiting for. The top play of Week 8 comes to us from the Arcaninos Pelipers match, and it's quite the gift. No, no, seriously. <laughs> this Scizor was packing Natural Gift. But Natural Gift isn't as thoughtful as it sounds. You see, Natural Gift deals damage to the opponent, 
and the type of damage dealt varies depending on the attacker's held berry. And because Scizor was holding a Watnel berry, Natural Gift became a fire type attack. As Mega Scizor goes for a swords dance, Scizor takes the opportunity to present its gift and pick up the KO on Mega Scizor, clearing a major threat on the Pelipper side. In total, Scizor would get three KOs, which helped the Arcaniners win 3 0, as well as land them this week's top play. And so, with all the top plays covered, we're left with only one play remaining the reigning top play. Last week, we saw Caliente go up against Speed Creep Tyranitar, and in the closest vote yet, Entei continues its reign by a narrow 56 to 44% majority of the votes. But now, it's time to decide once again, will Caliente continue to blaze the competition? Or, will gift-giving Scizor receive the greatest gift of all, the reigning top play crown? Only you can decide by voting via the straw poll link in the description. And while you're down there, feel free to let us know what some of your top plays from week 8 were, utilizing the comments section. But that's going to wrap up this week's top plays. I am CantoCast Blue, and I will catch you next week with more top plays from Season 5 of the GBA.